dialysis removes both wastes and water. Both matter. But on a day-to-day -day basis, how someone feels on dialysis depends almost entirely on how slowly and gently water is removed. Our bodies are about two-thirds water, but that water doesn't just slosh around. Water is in three main spaces in our bodies, and it constantly shifts from one space to another. We each have about 42 liters of water divided between our three fluid spaces. Let's look at each space and see where the water is. Cells are our building blocks, and each cell contains some water. Space 1, the intracellular space, is inside our cells. Water slowly diffuses into and out of each cell through the cell membrane. Each of us may have as many as 37 trillion cells. Water is slowly moving into and out of our cells all the time. In fact, most of our body water is inside our cells. Of the 42 liters of water in our bodies, about 67%, or 28 liters, is in our cells. Our cells float in a soup of interstitial fluid. Space 2, between our cells, holds about 24%, or 10 liters, of our body water. The rest of our body water is extracellular. This is space 3, outside our cells. For example, a little bit of water, about one liter, is in our eyes, lungs, and spinal cord. The other three liters of water in our bodies are in our bloodstream. For example, when there is swelling of the hands, feet, or face, or shortness of breath, this is from water that is inside or between cells, not water in the blood. Dialysis can only directly reach those three liters of water in the blood to remove water that is all over the body. Let's look at what happens inside the bloodstream during dialysis. First, water is pulled out of the blood, so the blood volume shrinks. As the blood volume shrinks, water starts to slowly shift into the bloodstream from between the cells. The last step is that water shifts from inside the cells into the space between them. And all of these shifts take time. To review, first, dialysis pulls water out of the blood. Next, water from between cells moves into the blood. Finally, water from inside cells moves between cells. These water shifts go on for the whole treatment. A treatment that removes too much water or removes it too quickly is harmful. Harsh water removal can cause blood pressure to drop. This leads to painful cramps, headaches, dizziness, and feeling washed out for hours. None of these should ever happen. They are common, but not normal. Even worse, harsh water removal stuns organs by starving them of oxygen. Stunning can cause permanent damage. Some people can't get a kidney transplant due to heart failure. Sudden cardiac death or thinking problems can also occur. A clinic may add salt to the blood to remove more water. Salt pulls more water into the bloodstream from the cells in spaces between them and can help prevent cramps. But extra salt in our blood tells our brains to make us thirsty, and the more water there is in the body, the harsher the next treatment may be. The good news is, there are ways to feel better. One way is longer and or more frequent treatments, which remove water much more gently. So, no cramps and no organ stunning. When there is less water in the body at the start of a treatment, no sodium will be needed. This eases thirst, which can be one of the hardest parts of being on dialysis. Gentler dialysis improves energy, sleep, and even survival quality of life can be much better. Prevent organ stunning at in-center dialysis with fluid limits, cool dialysate, getting every minute of treatment. Gentle treatments are best. Use this free calculator at www.homedialysis.org to find out if your goals in treatment time are safe and gentle. Simply enter your fluid goal, weight, and treatment time. Read the results. If you are out of the green zone, 
try changing one or more inputs based on the suggestions. Being in the green will help you feel your best and reduce organ stunning. Visit homedialysis.org for information on all your dialysis needs, from treatment options to maintaining your health.